everybody, Lucas Hanneman here. Welcome to this week's episode of Guitar Tone Tuesday. I hope you guys are having a great week so far. I have returned with a haircut and a black eye <laughs> to bring you guys a video from my basement. Um, yeah, I got into a bar fight. No, I'm just kidding, I didn't. I actually uh, was putting away my vacuum cleaner and I had an encounter with my uh, daughter's high chair. So I don't know if you guys can see this black eye, but I figured I'd justify why it's there just in case you guys uh, see it there on the on the video. Now, I'm here to talk to you guys today about something a little bit different. I wanted to talk to you guys about technique. Technique. I've, 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 I get asked a lot about technique and I have yet to oblige with a video. So uh, let's get it going, okay? Um, I had a question a few months ago. This is, how, this is how long it takes me to get around to these things, guys. It's pretty sad. Um, a few months ago, uh, from a guy, uh, a viewer of the channel, very nice gentleman, um, who was asking me about my right hand technique. Now, I think I have a bit of a, a, bit of a weird right hand technique in the fact that I've really worked on my independence, the independence of my thumb and my fingers. What I like to do is this. I, I kind of come from the Chet Atkins school without knowing much of Chet Atkins' music. <laughs> so my whole thing is this. I like to make it simple for myself. And let's talk about uh, mainly pickless technique today, okay? We'll, we'll save the pick and fingers thing for another day, but let's talk about pickless. So if you're going to play along, feel free to drop your pick, okay, um, for today. So my general thing is that I like to use my thumb to control the bass strings and I like to use my other three fingers to control the treble strings, my index, my middle, my ring. We'll get into the pinky finger hopefully before the end of this video as well because I do like to try to use that a little bit but I don't have quite as much independence with that finger. So what do I mean by that? Well, I would say that a lot of the time if I'm playing without a pick, my thumb will take care of the E string, the A string, sometimes the D string, it all depends on what chord I'm playing. And my index finger will generally be anchored somewhere around the, the D or the G string. My middle will be anchored around G or B. And my ring will be anchored around B or high E. It all depends on what I'm doing. So, you know, sometimes I'll do things like this where I grab like an E major chord. And I'm grabbing the low E string with my thumb, the D string with my index, the G with my middle, and the B with my ring. So I can play it. Uh, you know, as a solid chord like that, where I pluck all the strings together. I can put the bass separate from the chord, back and forth. Right? Or maybe I can play them all broken. Like an arpeggio, right? Uh, with a chord like A major, it'll be the other way around, where my my th like basically everything will shift down a string so my thumb will take care of the a string my index will take care of the g my middle will take care of the b and my ring will take care of the high e so i can play that solid broken right or i can arpeggiate it now i love doing things like i did in that intro where i uh create a bit of a, a, a counterpoint, so to speak, between my thumb and my fingers. So I'm doing something really consistent with my thumb, and I play over top of it. Now I just improvised this thing at the beginning of the video, but I'll play something kind of similar. So it was like... Uh, something like that, right? I get this technique um, from listening to people like Lindsey Buckingham. You guys ever listen to Lindsey Buckingham? Man, <laughs> I love, I love that guy. Uh, you know, like I learned this. Uh, you know, you guys know that too. I'm not going to play the whole thing. I don't want to copyright strike. Uh, but yeah, like, you know, I learned that when I was like, I want to say like 19 or 18 or something, and it really uh, opened up my mind to all this counter frontal stuff going on. I mean, I listen to a lot of great guitar players. I love the Delta Blues players in that regard, too, you know. Um, I love people like Lenny Bro, who just did amazing things, fingerstyle, ugh, like earth-shatteringly great things, fingerstyle, you know. If you guys haven't listened to Lenny Bro, check him out. Canadian jazz guitar player, 
who unfortunately died a very mysterious and sad death, but uh, he was a heck of an amazing player. B-R-E-A-U, Lenny Bro. Anyways, so, uh, you know, for that intro jam in today's video, I was just taking intervals, whoops, in the key of A, Mixolydian, and I was moving them. And what I'm doing there for my right hand is, is I'm grabbing, like when I'm plucking the G and B strings, it's with my, my middle and my ring. And when I'm plucking the D and the G strings, it's with my index and middle, right? So I'm trying to get each pair of fingers working together. You see? That's the whole idea. And my thumb is a whole separate thing. My, my thumb is just doing its thing. So I, I, I'll do things like, uh, you know, trying to really maintain a consistent beat with my thumb while doing all kinds of random stuff with my fingers, you know. And sometimes it doesn't sound very good when I'm practicing. But, uh, but you know, I'm working something out anyways, right? So, so you can do all kinds of stuff like... You can just do this, just your, just your right hand, right? So, okay, I'll play some off beats with my right hand. my fingers, right? And I'm just having fun, you know? You know, like that. I, I could do that for an hour, and I know it sounds weird, but... It works for me, you know, so I'm just exploring rhythms while keeping this consistent, right? It helps a lot to talk while you play or try to have a conversation with somebody while you play, right? So you can try to get some independence happening, right? While telling someone about what you did this week, you know, what did you eat for breakfast? What did you eat for lunch? You know, where did you go this morning? Where did you go this morning? Uh, you know what I mean? So like that that's a, a great way to kind of get your independence going, right? So anyways, that's one technique that I explore quite readily. But there's one other thing I like to do to employ my pinky finger as well. And uh, the way I taught this to myself is uh, there's this Brazilian uh, composer. I believe he was Brazilian named Villa Lobos, a classical composer. And he wrote this tune. Um, and I, I don't know if I learned it properly, but uh, what I like to do with it... tune. Okay, what, what I did with it, what, ah, I hate being out of tune, sorry guys. Okay, close enough. Okay, so what I, what, what I did with this, this tune is I tried to employ all the fingers of my right hand, okay? So, for instance, Check this out. You're going to start off with an E minor chord. Okay. And what you're going to do is this. You're going to you're going to pluck the low E string with your thumb. Then pluck the D string with your index. Okay? Low E with thumb, D with index. Come back to the A string with your thumb and then pluck the G string with your middle. So that's the first part. Then you're going to pluck the G string. This is where it gets hard. Pluck the G string with your middle finger and then the high E with your pinky. So E, D, A, G, D, B, G, high E. So we're going, uh, hopefully I said that right. Low E with thumb, D with index, A with thumb, G with middle. I might have skipped this part. D with index, B with uh, ring, G with middle, high E with pinky. Okay, so you're going up the scale, uh, up the chord, skipping a string all the time. E D A G D B G high E. 
thumb, index, thumb, middle, index, ring, middle, pinky. Then when you come back down the chord, you're going like this. This is really tough. B with ring, high E with pinky. That took me a while at first. <laughs> then G with middle, B with ring. D with index, uh, D with index, G with middle, and then A with thumb, D with index. So you're coming back down the chord, playing strings in pairs um, without any separation. So B high E, G B, D G, A D with ring pinky, middle ring, index middle, thumb index. Okay. for size and see how it goes. Thumb, index, thumb, middle, index, ring, middle, pinky, ring, pinky, middle, ring, index, middle, thumb, index on an E minor chord. E, D, A, G, D, B, G, high E, B, high E, G, B, D, G, A, D. Okay? <laughs> try to get it you know up to a decent speed the biggest thing for me is trying to get an even sound from each of my fingers um, and that's the thing that's really tricky so that's the thing you got to work on whenever you're doing any of this stuff you got to try to get an even volume from your your index finger to your thumb you know from your middle finger to your index finger your ring to your middle your pinky to your ring try to get them all speaking at the same volume and that's the hardest thing but I enjoy practicing this kind of stuff on acoustic guitar so Anyways, I feel like I've rambled on for probably long enough, uh, but uh, yeah, I hope you guys have a great week, and uh, yeah, uh, look forward to seeing you guys again next week. Let me know if you found this, this video uh, informative, if not entertaining, and uh, we will see everybody again next Tuesday.